I just think it's sad that COSA has left so many people behind. You know, some of us have families, and it's so sad that we won't be able to see our kids grow up. All of our loved ones lost. People of COSA, I hope one day, I hope one day you will know what it feels like to lose everything because that's what I lost. I lost everything. Pray for us. Please pray for us. Shocking news this morning. COSA has determined that Earth will be uninhabitable in the next 50 years. What does this mean for all of us? We have Dr. Stephen Clark here to discuss. Dr. Clark, what can we expect over the next few weeks, months, and years leading up to what we assume will be a mass evacuation? Well, Beth, we're going to have multiple ways to sign up for a trip out of here. One is to be able to sign up on our website, which is www.cosa.org and fill out the evacuation form. And we have numerous resources on standby right now sorting through all those requests to make sure that we get all those people assigned to a pod. The second would be to pay a small fee to join our fast track pod, which can be done by calling COSA or by, go by booking on amazon.com. What sort of fee are we talking about? Will this be affordable for the majority of Americans? So it is a steep fee, but we have to ensure that our fast track passengers have the financial stability to be able to contribute to our new society because they're gonna be the pioneers of our new world. It's a little scary for those less fortunate, isn't it? Is there any sort of limit on the number of passengers that can go to the new planet? So we're still working on all those details, so my recommendation would be to fill out the evacuation form as soon as possible, and then also make sure you have all your personal identification handy, such as your birth certificate, social security, past tax forms, and identification. Wow, it seems like this will be a pretty intensive process. So it is, but we have to be sure that all of our passengers are correctly tracked and accounted for. And we encourage all of our families to make sure they fill out a joint form as well, so that way they guarantee acceptance into the same pod. Thanks, Dr. Clark. Is there anything else we should know at this time? So just know that we are going to do everything in our power to make sure that every single American gets inside the pod. And we're working diligently to make sure we have great production of ships and further establish our alternate planetary habitat. Thank you. And Beth, signing off. Margaret, when's the next interview? And can we get somebody else to do PR on this? This is already exhausting. The board has asked that you do the public speaking, since you're the face of COSA. Perhaps your son could help? Are you kidding, Margaret? Cameron is a nitwit. Just a suggestion, sir. Your next interview is at 11 a.m. You also have a daily press conference for the next couple of weeks to go over any program updates. Your dad is excessively rude today. I'm sorry, he's kind of got an attitude, but he doesn't like sugarcoating things. It's going to be extremely hard to get an approved evacuation form out of here, isn't it? I don't even know if I'll get a ticket out of here. 
Don't worry, baby. I will get us out of here, even if I have to carry you on the back. I know, man, but what about my parents? My friends and family? This is all really going to stink. Well, I better get back to it before your dad sees me in here. Okay, I'll catch up with you later. is happening here. Sounds like Kosa is making the final decisions on who will make it into a pod. I heard there's only one or two left. Are we still going to execute a plan if we don't make it on the list? Of course. Hopefully we'll find some clean clothes and place the shower. So what do we have here? This is BF-45FD, copy out of Earth. We found it using our advanced radar technology outside of our solar system. Intriguing. How long until we can start making preparations? We're actually ready now, if you're ready. Start doing checks on the upper class that put their tickets in. Yes, sir. Today, we're gonna be assembling a task force that's gonna prohibit anybody from leaving the planet that's not qualified. This mission is for the better of our future. So, don't you think that's a little inhuman? No, we have business to take care of. And for our planet to collectively move on, we have to make adjustments. I see. So gather your belongings. We have a lot of things going on here. So I have a plan, but it's going to be super risky. What do you mean? We're going to sneak into Kosa. I want to see what they're up to. That is so risky, Liam. Like, we won't even be able to do it without getting caught. Look, I stole one of their uniforms from a truck, and I saw driving nearby. That isn't even a reasonable thing to do. We could get in so much trouble. Well. It's worth it if we're going to save the others. I understand. Look, we'll go in the morning. I don't suspect anything. Okay, got it. Yeah, that's a solar storm. What is it? It's a whole bunch of radiation from the sun hitting the Earth's magnetic field. It's gonna damage a lot of electronics if it's strong enough. Yeah, it's one of the whole time power grid, wouldn't you think? Yeah. Crazy.
Did you see the sky? Yeah, Mom. You're fine. It's just a solar flare. I was so scared. Thank God you're okay. There was this loud explosion outside. Um, Koso's not what they seem. They're very corrupt. We were all right about Stefan's plan with the lower class. If he deems fit, we'll go along. I knew it! We've got to spread the word across town. <coughs> that would just cause more chaos and confusion. Well, we can't take everyone. Koso's not going to let that happen. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get into COSA, I'll get us all a badge, they have a system we can hack into, and I'll pull up our profiles. We'll copy our pictures onto a badge, put us into the system, and we can get on board. That one definitely is not gonna work. Mm, I think it will. I used to do this stuff in high school. <coughs> How do you think I changed my grades to all A's? You're quite literally a maniac. Trust me, I got this. I won't even be able to do it without getting caught. Look, I stole one of their uniforms from a truck and I saw driving nearby. It isn't even a reasonable thing to do. We could get in so much trouble. Well, it's worth it if we're gonna save the others. I understand. Look, we'll go in the morning suspect anything. Okay, got it. Sir, we're ready to launch within 10 days. Start preparing the ID checks. Yes, sir. I just overheard Liam and Jenny talking about Kosa's plans. What was that? That Kosa's corrupt and they don't quite frankly care about leaving us here. So we're gonna sneak onto one of them pods. That's insane, it's impossible. We're literally gonna get ourselves killed. It's not impossible. All we have to do is start a riot and when the coast is clear, we get in, take down some guards and we're good. Steal some uniforms and jump ship. I have no it, Trust me, it'll be okay. We, we got this. We, we have to fight for our survival. Earth is dying. Sir, we got the power back up and running. We used the power from the backup generators to fix the issue. We shouldn't be seeing another solar flare storm anytime soon either. Okay, good. Because this is a one-time mission. No one returns. Understood. Start getting things in order for those ID checks, because we're holding those tomorrow. Got it. So they're holding our checks tomorrow. Aren't you a bit nervous? I'm tripping with the ticket here. Look, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna sneak in the back, knock out one of the guards and take his badge, hack ourselves into the system, just go from there. That sounds like a plan, but it sounds like a lot of work. Mm -hmm. Not if you know what you're doing. Today we have an important announcement to make. We will be collecting your IDs to gather information on whom will be able to financially work with our space and aeronautics program. Those who are not will have to set a win. Our planet is on a level 2 heat warning and by next year we will be on a level 3. The highest is 4. Earth will soon be uninhabitable. Those of you who do not make the cut will be considered left behind. There will not be any returning to this planet. We have found another Earth and Sun-like star system approximately two light years away. We will deem who is fit and not fit to come along. We will begin our list of people for qualifications starting at 2 p.m. Thank you. I don't have mine. Well, you need it. It's part of Costa Rica. Well, I don't got it. You understand me? Okay. 
Maybe I can take you back to the building. Mm. You're not doing shit. Excuse me? You heard me. Guys, go now! So I got us all in the system. That's great news, after we almost died. Mom, what's wrong? I was told I'm not qualified. Bullshit. I put us into the system. I made sure of it. I guess it didn't work. Nonsense, it worked. <laughs> they put me in the line to the left and said that I wasn't gonna go. I will get you on that ship, Mom. They've made up their minds. There's nothing we can do now. I did the work. I made sure of it. You guys are young. I'm sick and old. I can't go. I'll make a stand. No thanks, Molly. Hey, it's gonna be okay. No. No, it's not. That's my mom we're talking about. Sometimes you just have to go with what you're dealt with. Jenny, are you serious right now? This isn't the time for fun and games. What is it? These bottles are modified under the family of Kira. Let me see. See, someone got access to their files and moved them over manually. Who could have possibly done that? Who do you think? No way. How did they even get in? They probably stole one of the guards' badges. Well, what do we do? Let them in? That's totally against the rules, Cameron. My dad has done enough to these people. I totally understand that. What's going on here? Oh, nothing. We were just discussing the launch plan, sir. Good. We're gonna need that ship ready. There's another solar storm launching in six days. Radar already picked it up. Yes, sir. I'll see you in the bay. So our ship is capable of reaching the new Earth in about five light years, which is equivalent to four years on board. Really? Is the ship also capable of, like, protesting against the, you know, the space weather, like debris and things like that? Yeah, it's state-of-the-art equipment. We've never seen anything like it before. Really? Wow, okay, well, that's, that's interesting. Well, just to let you know, the, the new plan that we're on is just like Earth. It's just two times bigger. Really? Is there light? Um, I'm not 100% sure if there is life or not. Um, I know we're going to have to do you know, a lot of R&D when we get down there because the, uh, the, the atmosphere is comprised of 95% oxygen. Not bad, not bad. Yep, yep. And, uh, I'm going to tell you a little secret. So, uh, not all the people that are on the ship are going to stay on the top. Well, we got close there. Yeah, that's right. We got everything ready for lunch tonight. Yeah. I just have this feeling that something's not right. Like, something's off. Don't worry. Everything is going to go according to plan. If you insist. 
alert, alert. I think that class A asteroid that's within 7,000 miles of Earth's atmosphere projected to hit the Atlantic at a speed of 1,000 miles per hour with enough force to affect Earth's climate and geographical features. Sir, we just received a distressing signal off of our intercom in space. Look at the ship's ready. How long is it been? 16 hours at most. Why the hell did the team not alert us of that before? It was undetectable, sir. Bullshit. Can we join? Sure, but how are you not going to get caught? We stole some badges during the riot. Smart boy. Yeah, for sure. Alrighty, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to sneak onto one of the pods on one of the ships, and that way when they launch, we'll go with the ship. Any questions? Are you sure this will work? Like, absolutely sure? It will. You, you just have to trust us. I'm old. I don't know if I can do all that. Mom, stop worrying. We can do this. I just don't want to cause any issues. We won't. We'll leave it dark. That way, they won't see us. Good idea. On my mark, when we get close, shoot the two guards and follow me inside. Come on. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero.
Don't stop, cause you know exactly 